Hey guys, Paul here from Team Crit Hit. Back again today with a deck profile. Now today, coming at you with something fun, something a bit rogue, something I've been playing with for the past couple of weeks now, and I'm really enjoying it. I think I've got a bit of a solid list down now. So I thought it was time to do a deck profile, and that is Eosmon. So this is the big bad Eosmon right here. So let's jump straight into the deck profile. Okay. Obviously, as always, guys, before we do that, a quick message from the sponsors. Critic Game Hub is Liverpool's largest gaming store and stocks all things games. Whether that be Pokemon, Digimon, Warhammer, the lot, they've got it. Also, using our discount code TEAMCRITHIT, you can bag yourself 10% off orders on their online store. Ultimate TCG is a store that stocks everything TCG related. Whether that be Yu-Gi-Oh, Magic or Digimon, you name it, they've got it. Head over to their website and use the code TCHIT505 to get 5% off your order. And um, welcome back. Okay, so like always, start with the babies. Now with this deck, I don't think there is an actual good baby that you could actually use with this deck because you're not really using them, to be honest with you. I just find myself evolving into them with the goblin on the blocker and then you use that way so the, the egg i've found that's best for me obviously other people's eggs will be better i've seen a lot of people using pinamon but i don't see the point in the pinamon because obviously you've got the morphmon you've got the wormmon and you obviously want to attack into the security to kill those two to get the search off them you're never really going to evolve into them well i don't anyway i just normally hard play them unless i have two in my hand then I'll hard play and then evolve the other one. So the egg I have gone with is just four Argumon. So four Argumon, like I said, the way I play this deck, I'll go into Goblimon, into the Raisin, and then into me Blocker, and then we'll raise, and then the Blocker will just sit there. I'll block a Rookie or something, suspend itself. And during my next turn, it'll unsuspend and I'll gain the free memory. That's the way I play this deck. Um, like I said, there's no good eggs to really play, but I've found the Argomon is better for my type of playstyle. Okay, jumping into the rookies, and we have the four Morphemon. Right, so Morphemon is three costs to play, zero to evolve, 1000 DP, and its skill is on deletion. Reveal the top five cards of your deck as one Manoa, Manoa, Bellucci, and one Digimon card with the Osmon in its name among them. To your hand, place the remaining cards at the bottom of the deck in any order. It's just a great card, just to cycle through your deck, get what you need, grab your Manoa, your, your Tamer, then you can start searching again off the Tamer. Pretty good card, only 1k, so it's likely going to die every time it attacks the security anyway. And like I said, I never really want to evolve into this unless I have this and another one in the hand or a Wehrmon in the hand, I'm always going to hard play this. This deck isn't really about evolving. It all depends on what you're actually playing against, whether you want to evolve a stack in the raising area to bring it up. But mainly you just always are playing the Osmonds or then attacking playing the Osmonds, playing the Osmonds. Okay, rookie number two is another searcher in the form of Wehrmon. Wehrmann's another good one, exactly the same play cost and DP as the Morphemon, but obviously you search three less cards. So on deletion, reveal the top three cards of your deck, add one level four or level five Digimon card among them to your hand, place the remaining cards at the bottom of the deck in any order. So this is good, this is good, you can get your Mega Eos, I mean not your Mega, sorry, Mega's level six, what am I talking about? With this you can get your Blocker, you can get your level four Eosmon, you can get your level five Eosmon. That's all you really need to do with this card. You just sacrifice it, grab a card off the top of the deck, happy days. Um, so like I said, I normally just hard play these. This deck, like I said, you're never really going to evolve in the stack. Unless you've got this and this in your hand, and you've got no other level 3 to evolve, you'll just go this, hard play this if you're first. Turn 2, swing swing, search the deck. That's simple. Easy. And then my last three rookies are just three Goblimon. Um, 
you've probably seen in all our decks. I like the two capacity rookies. It's a really, the really good cards. They go for choking your opponent. They go for just playing out and then going straight into your blocker. Your opponent leads, lead, need leaves you. Sorry, can't get me words off. Leaves you on two. You just play this, go into your blocker, leave your opponent on two, one, whatever. But yeah, not much to say about Goblimon. That is the rookie liner. Let's go straight into the champions. Okay. Let's see the champions. The level 4 Eosmon. This is the one you can only play 4 copies of. So, this reads it's a play cost 4, TP 4000. It reads on play, you may play one white tamer with a memory cost of 4 or less from your hand without paying its memory cost. Then your opponent may play one tamer card from their hand without playing their memory cost. Obviously, the level 6 Eosmon, Eosmon's above tamers, it adds level 5's under it or level 4's under it due to the amount of tamers on the board. But this is just a nice way to get those tamers out that you need, because then you can start popping guys, you can get security attack plus ones with the level 6's, whatever. And then it's inherent is, when attacking you may play one white tamer card with the play cost of 4 or less from your hand without paying its memory cost. And this is good because we are playing a lot of white tamers, so this just helps you get them out for free basically. Yeah. And you can you can hard play this off the level five. So the play that I like doing is obviously cut an edge. You kill Sutton. You play the level five. Next turn you swing with the level five. You play the level four. You play a tamer. Hopefully, if your opponent's got their tamer out, your opponent's not really getting much out of it. Yeah, so that's the level four. We'll leave these off first. And then my blocker choice is the four woodmon. Now. A lot of people are playing the Cabotary Mon, which is right here. So obviously you can switch it out if you want to, but my preference is the Woodmon. I think in this format, the 6,000 is a lot better than the 5,000. That 1k goes a long way. Obviously you've got the Battle Hook Mon that pops 5k, so this becomes useless against Chessmon. Um, like I said, you're doing a lot of hard playing in this deck, so 5 cost blocker. Obviously there's Alter S. This doesn't die with the Alter S. There's Alter S going around with Alphamon, of course. Um, it helps against Yellow with the DP reduction. That 1k does a lot. And it's really good against the Mirror Match as well, because obviously the level 5 Eosmon is a 6 cost, so you can trade it with the Woodmon. As to where this, they can't do nothing, because it just dies. Same with any other deck. You can Most level 4s are 6 cost, I mean 6,000 DP or less, so you can just trade them, kill things, kill rookies. Like I was saying earlier, this is normally the stack I go for, is this, in the Raisin. So you've got the Argomon, the Goblimon, the Woodmon. So you can raise this, you can block, kill something. This survives next turn, you restand, you gain your memory. Simple as that. That's why I've gone with the Argomon. Like, it might not be the best, people might obviously want the Pinamon. Pinamon's good, but the Pinamon is... When you attack an opponent's Digimon, you draw a card. Like with this deck, it's like it's it's, it's basically like um, ultimate rush, if you would say. You you just constantly spamming out the Osmon, so you're just attacking the security all the time. You don't really want to attack your opponent's Digimon in this deck, so the Pinamon isn't great unless obviously you want to just easy quickly kill the Morphomon. You attack a Digimon to kill the Morphomon or something. I don't know, but yeah. I've gone with the Argomon. And the uh, level 5 Eosmon, I think there's 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Okay, 14. So I'm playing 14 level 5 Eosmons. So this is the one that obviously you can play as many as you want. You can play up to 50 copies in your deck, but you don't need 50 copies. So it's a 5 cost to play, 6,000 TP. You can evolve it for three over a green or a white Digimon, which is pretty good. So, like again, if you ever need to go up the stack, you can go up the stack with this, with the uh, level four as well. It's yeah, but you're never really gonna do that. Like I said, it's what you're up against, really. But yeah, so when attacking, you may play one level five or lower Eosmon from your hand without paying its memory cost, and it's inherent to your turn. This Digimon gets a thousand TP. So, like I said, you can play level 4 if you want and get a tamer but mainly you'd just be spamming the level 5s out and then going into your level 6s 
not much to really say about the level five. Some good combos that you can do in the deck. But yeah, that's 14 level fives. And as for level sixes, very nice and simple. Four level six EOs, man. The nice fancy alt art as well. So obviously 13 cost to play, 13,000 DP, level five. Level five for five cost to evolve it. But you're never gonna hard play this, you're always gonna evolve it, obviously. Then when did evolving? For each team in play, you may place one level 5 or lower Eosmon from your trash at the top of this Digimon's Digivolution card in any order. If you place two or more cards with this effect, delete one of your opponent's Digimon. Like I said, this is why you spam the Eosmon, that you want to just keep swinging and kill them and then bring this up. And obviously the level 4 is where you want your opponent to play Tamers, you want to get these under it, or get this under it. It's just... Really nice cards, it gains power from them, it gains effects from the level 4 to play Tamers out, it gains 1000 DP from the level 5 to gain power, and it pops up. And then its other effect is your turn for every 3 Digivolution cards that this Digimon has, it gains security attack plus 1. So the more Tamers, the more Eosmons you're adding, the more security attacks you're doing. The more power you're getting, the less your opponent can stop it. It's really nice. But then the Argamon also helps getting the memory up to actually straight evolve this thing. Because it's a very high cost. So, yeah, that's the level 6. Now I'll jump into the options. So, the options, best card in the deck, in my opinion, is Cutting Edge. So, Cutting Edge is a 6 cost to play. Um, security effect that activates in the security. This card is. Nuts. I love this card. So main you may play one level five or lower Eosmon from your hand without paying its memory cost, then delete one of your opponent's Digimon with DP less than or equal to the Digimon. So basically you can play the level five, the level four. So you play this, pay six, and you can play this. This basically becomes a one cost and you're deleting something. So you're playing an Eosmon for free and you're deleting something. So this Eosmon is essentially a one cost because you're doing it anyway, so or this is a one cost or whatever way you want to look at it. Something is free, something is cheap. Or you can cut an edge, play this, kill, I don't know, a rookie, some champions of four cost or whatever. Then you get a tamer. So there's so much value you are getting out of this cut an edge. It's it's amazing. So you play the cut an edge, play the level four Eosmon, pop something on play effect on the Eosmon or trigger, you play a tamer. Nice, nice, nice. Then my other two is just two needle sprays. Needle spray. It comes up. It does come up. I'm not going to lie. Like, for game, if you've got two Eosmons out and your opponent's got one blocker, one security, you just go fine. Needle spray the blocker. Attack, attack. Win the game. Activating the security as well. It saves you. Also, it has to hand after, after the security effect activates, which is another bonus of the card. I like Needle Spray. Good card. Okay. Moving on to the Tamers. And obviously, staple in the deck needs to be a 4 of is Manoia. So, Manoia is a 4 cost white Tamer. It's a memory Tamer as well, so if your memory is 2 or less, you, get, you go to 3. So, it stops your opponent from choking you. Um, your turn. When you play an Eosmon, you may suspend this Tamer, reveal the top three cards of your deck, add one Tamer card or one Digimon card with Eosmon in its name among them to your hand, place the remaining card at the bottom of the deck in any order. So, obviously, works with the Eosmon, so you're attacking, you play an Eosmon, you activate Manoia, you search the top of the deck. These stack as well, so if you've got two out, you can use the two of them to search. Pretty nice card. Just helps you cycle through your deck, helps you get those level 5s to keep attacking, keep spamming them out, helps you get your level 6 to start popping things and doing security checks. And then, opponent's turn. This, while you have Eosmon in play, your opponent's team is don't unsuspend during your opponent's unsuspend phase. This is really nice. That's a pretty good ability. It works. Marcus is pretty prominent right now in, in the format in Occupant, so it stopped this from unsuspending. I mean, this will stop Marcus from unsuspending. Um, Purple Kari. I don't know if it's getting used much. I think the other, the other few people playing Mastermon or whatever else. It'll stop this. 
yeah, just pretty much. The, the, the unsuspend isn't the best. There's not many things that I can think of that suspend right now that are getting used from one another. Mark is definitely one of them. Blue, like Hexablau, it will stop the Joe and Sora, is it? I think it's Joe and Sora. It'll stop that from unsuspending so it can stop taking the sources away. But yeah. But if you do come up against Hexablau on this deck, you can't screw it anyway because you can't do much. So that's the four Manoia. Manoa. And obviously it's security effect like all team is, it activates in the security. Next up we've got two Tire Mat. This just helps obviously with the level six being a five cost to Digivolve. This just helps you get into that five. If your opponent's got a level six out, this puts you to Manoia puts you to three. Tire Mat puts you to five. You can play that, still your turn and get your attacks off. Very nice. So obviously it reads, start of your turn, if your opponent has level 6 or higher Digimon in play, gain 2 memory. Um, the second ability is never going to come out. All of your Digimon with Ammon in their name gain security attack plus 1. That's never going to come up for you, so you don't really need to worry about that. All you want is the 2 memory. That's all you're wanting for this card. And plus it's a white tamer, so you can play it with the level 4. Obviously, with the level 4's inherent ability, you can play it when you attack with the level 5 or attack with the level 6, whatever. And the last two is to Takumi Abe. So, Takumi Abe's a 2 cost. Your turn, when one of your Digimon Digivolves, you may suspend this Tamer to trigger draw 1. Just helps you get through your deck a bit more as well. Like I said, though, you, you mainly hard playing things unless you're going into the level 5 from the level 4. Yosmon, or you're going from the level 5 Yosmon to the level 6, then you use these. It's really good against, obviously, Rookie Bush as well. It's, it's all, all turns, all level 3 Digimon gain when attacking, lose one memory. Really good against that, Rookie Rush. It's really it just stops your opponent from rushing you because this deck. Uh, it gives a lot of memory out so your opponent can just rush you with Rookies. Um, like Ogumon, Ogubons, Gobbybons, they're always playing Ogumons down, so they're just going to rush you. This will stop that a bit, it'll slow it down. So yeah, that is the Eosmon deck, guys. Um, we've gone for eight white tamers in this deck. It's, they, they need to bring a better tile. So that's just going to do something else. I think the Takumis are really good in this deck. I would like to bump it up, I think, to three. But it's, it's hard to change. Maybe change the line of the level five Eosmons. But then again... It's been working so nicely for me, so I don't really want to change that. And you've got the Argomons. You can always change them to the Pinamons. Again, you can always change the Woodmons to the Cobbleterrymons. I'd maybe like to put another Goblimon in as well. And this is another card I've been looking at, is Electroshocker. I did use it. I was originally playing one of this and one Needle Spray. It's a little nice combo. You can get around, like, Craniumons and things with it. Like... What else? With black, they build like a major stack and go into Alter S that's got blocker and all that, so you're just not getting around it unless you've got all kinds of Eosmons under this. So, a play I was doing was Needle Spraying it for two, and then playing the Electro Shock and just putting it back in your opponent's hand, which is not good if they've got another Mega out to get in the Alter S off again, but yeah, it can, it can be nice. It's a nice little tech card, but yeah choices choices in this deck but like I said the way I've built this deck it's it's really hard to take things out but I like this deck I've been playing it now for a couple of weeks it's been pretty fun it's been quite consistent as well um, yeah any questions ask me in the comments below you know as always I'll get back to you guys any deck profiles you'll like to see any versus videos you'll like to see as always guys, like, comment, subscribe to the channel, it means the world to us. Um, as you've seen as well, the last versus video I've done commentary on, I think I'm going to do that moving forward from now on. So let me know what you think about that in the other video. The video wasn't the best, but it was the shortest video I had to test the commentary thing out, but I enjoyed it. I like doing it, so I'm going to do it more. I've got another few versus videos to do, so I'm going to jump onto that. But yeah, that is the Eosmon deck. 
hope you enjoyed the video guys but before we go as always another message from the sponsors thanks guys bye Total Cards is a store that deals in all things TCG, including all things Pokemon with amazing prices on sealed product and singles that you won't want to miss out on. Plus, using our discount code TEAMCRITHIT1 on checkout, you can grab a 2% discount off your order. So don't wait round, get over and check out the links in the description below and see what's on offer.